Well, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good evening. Whatever it is there. It's the evening in uh, in Israel, right? Yes. Palestine too. Yeah. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Good to see you. This is the Fellman family, Rami, Christine, Rochelle, Yanel. It's so good to see all of you. How are, how are things going? It's been a crazy time in this world. Crazy, crazy time. How's everything going? Uh, crazy. Yeah. We are adjusting to so many new things. You guys have been pretty much locked down like everybody else around the country? Yes, yes, yeah. yes definitely. How long how? so far? Uh, two months and a half. Almost. Yeah. I think we're going on two months. Uh, they're starting to open up things in California here, but, th but I've seen that they've opened up some places and they had to close them back down because people will not do what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah. They won't separate. But girls, how are you? Girls. How are you doing? Good. Do you remember the first time Uncle Randy came to your house? Uh, the first uh, time. Please, please. Made banana cake. Oh, banana cake. You are banana absolutely bread. right. Banana bread. Yeah. That's right. We kind of winged it. We, we found, we found yeah. what we had. The second time, what did, what did we make? Chocolate chip Chocolate cookies. cookies. Yes. You guys helped make them also. <laughs> they can't <laughs> forget. So what are we going to make the next time? Uh, brownies. Brownies. We can make banana bread brownies with chocolate chip cookies in them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so nice. girls, let me ask you about, before we talked about serious stuff with mom and dad, what, uh, are you guys still having to do schoolwork and stuff or what are you doing? Yeah, we do schoolwork. Is it on, is it on Zoom like this? Yeah, yeah, Zoom. Your teachers, are they okay on Zoom? You like it? I like school better. I've heard some funny stories where, uh, some of the, some of the little kids that are supposed to be on Zoom will have a tablet and if they have to go to the bathroom, they just take the tablet in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know that that's good for the whole class. I'm not sure, but you know. Well, so are you, so you're, are you enjoying it this way, or would you rather be back with all your friends? And uh, I'd rather go to school. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. How, how how has the ministry been going? I mean, you do a lot of outreach. How have you been able to continue all that? Uh, relief has been uh, like at least uh, doubled. The efforts yeah. of relief because because of the need the need is huge and um, we've been getting calls from uh, you know people who we visited but their cousin now who used to work normally in a hotel and get paid daily for his work now he's he doesn't have anything for over yeah. two months yeah so that has been really hard especially in the area of Bethlehem so we've been giving out food some other things as well. And we, we're still getting so many calls because in the West Bank, they extended for one more month of lockdown. Oh, already? West, already. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good. They did a wise thing in Bethlehem, but they totally depend on tourism. And tourism, I think, won't come back before, normally, won't come back before 2021. Yeah. I mean, there, there will be some tourists in, in coming September, October if things open up gradually yeah but it, it's going to be like 30 percent of the the normal amount yeah and these all of Bethlehem depends on tourism more than 50 percent mm -hmm. imagine so uh I, I'm assuming your cafe is closed now it's closed yeah it's closed, it's closed. little cafes here they're still they're doing takeout stuff but for yours the whole purpose is gathering with people so it's kind of like you know this is exactly what I thought this is exactly what I thought because I've been asked from the, you know, we do these staff meetings on Zoom and so on. So are we going to open for delivery and so on? I yeah. thought the whole point is people. Yeah. Our goal in the cafe, maybe we, yeah, we've we done providing hot meals for needy people yeah. in the past. Yeah. But the goal is people coming in. Exactly. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating. Um, how are th how's everything with family, Christine? You had a, a difficult time. How's everything going? Yes, a very difficult time, uh, especially with the, with the family. Um, my sister passed away like uh, one week and a half. Yeah, Caroline, right? Caroline. And, half, Caroline. Caroline. and it's, um, it's painful, I mean. Yeah. 
it's very painful, but uh, we trust the Lord. I mean, that she's in a better place. Well, we just yes. want to let you know that we love you and care for you, and we've been thinking about you during this time, the whole family, because it's difficult. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I was going through Facebook the other day just to get some pictures, and there's a lot of pictures of, of you and Caroline together. But your, your other how many sisters do you have? Uh, we are five sisters and one brother. Is it like, did your parents just like produce a modeling agency or something? I mean, they're the most beautiful people I've ever seen. <laughs> Let me just say, okay, Rami, Rami, there's something you and I have in common. What is it? One main thing we have in common. We married up. A absolutely. That's the, that's the thing. We married so over our head, it's crazy. But isn't God good? He's good. He's good. Yeah. But you know, the thing about our, 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 our wives, they are beautiful looking, appearance wise. But they are beautiful in their hearts, and that's what's that's what's that's what's kept marriages together. How long have you guys been married now? This one, um, no, no. Oh, you don't know. I started something. Girls, do you know how long? Fourteen. <laughs> fourteen. Fourteen. You know, I know average. I laugh at fourteen. Forty-one. <laughs> wow. Good wow. job. Yeah. But does well, let me see. What is that? What'd you draw? Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh, that's pretty. Hearts and rainbows. Did you draw that? I'm, I'm drawing something too. Let me see. I'm drawing a watermelon as a girl, but I'm not done with it yet. Oh, excuse me, a watermelon of a girl? As a girl. Like, oh, as a girl. Oh, a female yeah. watermelon. I didn't. I guess there maybe there are male and female watermelons. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the, the the female watermelons are the prettier ones. That's the smaller ones. So, uh, what kind of outreach stuff are you doing? Are you, how, are you able to, to get like food and stuff to people? Yes, we're doing a lot of the food, specifically the food, a lot of the online stuff. Like the discipleship, we're doing it online. The evangelism, we're doing it online. Facebook ads, we're doing it. It's all online, but we are doubling how much we, we, we did before because oh, yeah. we... I mean, we are investing more. We started a new Facebook page. Uh, just last week, we called it uh, change. Yeah. Change. We're, that's that's. And we we kept the name. We we want to test this name, but the idea is to put some quality secular things for to challenge youth to change the way they think, to change the way they do anything for the good, of course. And then the hidden purpose is. Uh, change the way you think as a Muslim. Yeah. So, so we are now gathering materials to put on this say, Facebook page because we can't put everything that is bold on our regular JEO page. Right. We, right. we are uh, an official registered ministry. So we put softer things. But on this page, we can put a little bit more. That's it. You know, I think uh, in some ways, this, uh, this whole pandemic and everybody being locked down and everybody going to Zoom, it has opened up ministry to more people that would not walk into a church or come into our ministry, but they might pop online and see something kind of anonymously. And um, I've heard from several of our missionaries around the world that, uh, that God is really using this time in unique ways. We, we probably have twice as many people watch our worship services on Sunday than come, usually. Wow. It's amazing. Wow. So there's seven people watching. It's really good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but don't you think? Don't you think it's kind of a unique time? To, and God has given us these unique tools to minister. I think. I think it's God is definitely using this time to, for many purposes. He's he's waking people up. He's sending alarms. Um, People who are believers appreciate so much, like no other time that they are believers. Just imagine if you are not a believer by this time. I, like I have, a I have a personal friend. He wouldn't step out of the house. Step out. I mean, he's so hesitant to, to go get stuff even. Yeah. I mean, I mean we, we, are, we are careful as believers, but we're not horrified. So, so I think, I think um, we are appreciating, non-believers are thinking, evaluating, uh, maybe, maybe waking up for some. And ministry-wise, I think it's, it's moving the world somewhere else. It seems like this is the best tool, yeah. or one of the best tools. And I think after the corona season, some things will never go back the same. 
some new things will stay as they are and grow. Yeah. That they have been started during the Corona times. I don't know what will come. Yeah. Well, let me let me ask you what are uh, what are two or three key things that that your friends and those listening can pray for you about, and and we can lift up to you in the coming coming days and weeks. What are what are a couple of top things? We want our uh, evangelism discipleship ministry that is online to really grow in a in a quality way. And we are looking now for, after we do the evangelism, a little bit of discipleship, we are looking for a funnel, the end of the funnel. We want it to be uh, a mini, I wouldn't say Bible college, but Bible study, quality Bible study in Arabic. It can be videos and so on. So this is what we're going. We don't have to create it. We can um, borrow it, purchase it, or create it, or create part of it. Mm -hmm. But we feel those people... With the discipleship, we visit them, let's say, once a week, once every two weeks. They need something daily yeah. to be their bread, quality. So this is something that we need uh, prayer for. Uh, we are considering as well um, moving some offices. This is on the practical mm -hmm. part. Moving some of the offices that we, we had in Jerusalem. We feel we need another office in, ba in Bethlehem area or Ramallah area because... Um, the need is greater there. This is all after the lockdown, especially with the relief. I mean, now we know where is the need is. When everything was open, we used to get the parcels from Jerusalem, go through the checkpoint easily. Yeah. Now we can't. So we need to, fo to prepare if something else comes up mm -hmm. in the future. And I would say, I would say, please pray for the staff. Yes. For the staff. I mean, they have... We had a meeting, some of them have fears. Uh, we have some challenges uh, financially as a ministry. Uh, you know, and I understand people, people don't know if they can send donations, all of them, I mean, the, the same way or not. Uh, so well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell them right now, yes, you can. You can send donations the same way, <laughs> send them. <laughs> I, felt that, I felt that from the Lord as I was saying that. So. <laughs> So we just pray that God would uh, continue to sustain ministries and that the people who can give will give, those who cannot will pray. And then when we all get back together on this, uh, it'll all work out. But I, I really believe, like you said, and we said earlier, God is doing some unique and wonderful things during this crazy time. Amen. I agree. So how about the families? Or one prayer request for the family. We'll pray for the ministry, for the finances, for the Bible study teaching. And uh, how about just something for you guys? Maybe... Um for my family, especially. Yeah. Not, mom, not mine. Not no, mine. my family. <laughs> um, my parents, especially. Mm -hmm. um, they are still... Um, shocked. Yeah, shocked. Yeah. And, and not understanding uh, yeah. uh, biblically, even. Yeah. How, how, because she was a, an, an amazing believer. Believer, oh, yeah. yes. So they don't understand. And we will be praying for your family. Let me just pray for you guys now, and, uh, and then we'll have some closing words, and we'll say goodbye, but let's pray. Lord God, I just thank you for Christine, for Rami, uh, for Rochelle, Yanel, for the whole family, and even uh, Christine's extended family, particularly her parents, in the loss of uh, Caroline and all the things that have happened that we don't understand. Answers, the, the regular answers just aren't enough, and we have to lean on you and depend on you. And that's easy to say, and it's so easy to quote scripture verses, and they are meaningful, and they, they are real, and they are true. But Lord, we've got to lean on you. In difficult times, we have to lean on you, because you are the one who has never failed us or forsaken us. And we know that's true, because you've proven yourself in the past. So bring healing, bring comfort, bring peace to this family right now. And Father, we pray for the ministry. This is your ministry. Rami and Christine and their staff are simply your hands and feet. This is your ministry. You want it to go forward. So we pray that you would bless them, even in this difficult time, with the finances that they need, be with the staff, take away their fears of, of losing jobs and worrying that, that this will be over one day and you will be glorified in all of this. We can't see the end right now. We don't know what it's going to look like, but we know that you hold all of this in your hands. And so we trust you for that. So we pray for the ministry. We pray for the outreach they're doing now. Bring more people to hear and to listen and to hear the gospel. You are going to bring people to the throne of Christ because of this pandemic, because they've tuned in, 
to a Zoom meeting or listen to something they wouldn't have listened to before, and you're changing lives. We give you praise and thanks for that. And then, Lord, we just pray for uh, all the leadership that's being developed, the discipling, the Bible studies, that you would just lead uh, Rami and Christine and their staff to the right places, the right things. And, Lord, we look forward to the day when we can get back together, when uh, the cafe opens back up and people come together and worship together and eat together and drink coffee together and love together. Uh, this has been a good reminder of how blessed we have been and how careful we need to be to, to love one another well. So we, we thank you in this difficult time. We praise you in it. And we just ask for your goodness to come through it. And we give you all the praise and all the glory for this in Jesus name. Amen. Well, guys, we love you. It's been so good seeing you. Thank you for your time. The family. Okay, I will. I will. And uh, but you guys uh, just keep pressing on, as, as the Bible says, press on to the goal. I, I know you're good folks, and we love you guys. Know that we're praying for you, and uh, just give all the girls a big hug for us again, and, and thank you for your time. Thanks, Bye. Randy. Big big greeting to all the team and Sharon. Amen. We'll do. Bye. Bye.